Marcus Strong quarter shares are up despite the broader sell off, but they're still down uh, about 18% over the last year. Is there something you think investors are missing? Well, this has been an important transformational year for us. Uh, about 12 months ago, we articulated a strategy which was really focused around three major pillars, which is being locally relevant on a global basis, being customer-centric, and speeding up the pace of execution. Uh, we did step up our investment levels uh, this year. Uh, people didn't really understand that at the beginning of the year, but this uh, quarter, uh, the last quarter, I think we've strung together uh, a number of strong quarters that are really showing that the investments are, are paying off. Uh, for reference, this quarter, adjusted EBITDA was up 29%, adjusted earnings per share up 46%. So uh, we've got some momentum here, and it's good to have a quarter to show that through in the financial results. We've had a lot of weather this year. What is your outlook uh, for travel over the next year, given economic uncertainty, political yeah. uncertainty? Well, the wonderful thing about travel is that despite storms and political uncertainty, people still want to take their trips. So what we have seen over the years, and we've been at this for 20 years now, is that although travel patterns change, people still take their trips. Uh, we see that when storms happen. Uh, obviously, the area that is impacted sees a downturn. Ultimately, it snaps back and people change directions. Uh, we expect continued strong travel for the, for the year and the years coming ahead. So HomeAway has played a big role in boosting Expedia growth uh, in, in the last quarter in particular, um, but that growth is decelerating. Is that a trend you expect to continue? Well, so HomeAway has been on a huge growth tear here as they transition to business from a traditional listings model to a true e-commerce uh, model. Uh, this quarter, they posted uh, property night growth about 29% year over year. Uh, that does feel like a good level to us. Uh, it is supported by a massive industry uh, that is gaining huge popularity around the world. And HomeAway is really starting to enter in 2019 phase two of its growth strategy. Phase one was, again, about taking a traditional listings business and turning it to an e-commerce player uh, and phase two is about moving more into the urban markets and expanding internationally so we think HomeAway has got a long runway of growth ahead uh, and they're doing it in a balanced way uh, this quarter they delivered more adjusted EBITDA than they did in all of last year so they're driving growth at the same time as profitability and we think that HomeAway has got a long great run ahead of it. Uh, you've just announced you've acquired two companies, Pillow and Apartment Jet, that will help uh, customers list uh, their apartments, their homes more easily. How will this help you take on Airbnb, which certainly seems to be the primary competition? Well, so we're firstly very excited to have uh, both Pillow and Apartment Jet as part of the family. It's a wonderful thing when you get young, innovative companies and you inject them into a scale player like HomeAway. Uh, what these players do, though, is actually help uh, apartment managers, apartment owners, and communities manage their short-term rental activity so that they can rent responsibly, take things that often happen underground, and bring it up into the light. So we this, this is an application, these two businesses, that we're going to make available to the whole industry. It's not just uh, home away. And I think it's just going to be a catalyst to bring some great inventory that customers absolutely love uh, onto the marketplace, both at home away, uh, in the industry generally, and then also on our core Expedia brands. Speaking of M&A, with Airbnb trying to get into experiences with some challenges, would you be interested in, in acquiring companies to get into the experiences part of the market? Well, so we're always on the hunt for great, innovative companies. Uh, activities is obviously an exciting area. Now, we talked about not this quarter, but last quarter. We've already got a huge business in this. We do uh, just over half a billion dollars of activities business. It's growing very nicely. Uh, on a go-forward basis, we're going to continue to ramp that up. The wonderful thing is we've got hundreds of millions of travelers that are booking on us each year. We know where they're going. There, our apps are installed on their phones. In fact, we've got almost 300 million app downloads. And of course, they're looking for places to go and things to do while they're in destination. And I think it's going to be increasingly important for us uh, as we go forward. We've got a great organic strategy, but absolutely we'll look to augment with smart uh, acquisitions along the way, which we've certainly got a track record of doing. Booking Holdings, formerly Priceline, has partnerships with several of the big Chinese transport companies, whether it's C-Trip or Meituan or Didi. What is Expedia's strategy in Asia, in China? 
Well, obviously China is a hugely important market, um, and we've been focused on two areas of the Chinese travel opportunity. First of all is the outbound opportunity, and we've got a great business called our Expedia Partner Solutions business that provides our technology and supply to players in the industry wherever they are. A huge part of that business is actually providing our inventory and technology to Chinese players that are sending travelers outside of China. So that's a key part of the strategy. We've also got Brand Expedia and Hotels.com who are in China, again, predominantly serving the outbound market. And of course, we built up a great uh, inventory of supply products in China for international travelers to travel into. So that's the core of our strategy uh, right now. Uh, the domestic market has been something that, of course, we've been in uh, with Elong, which we, which we owned and ultimately sold to Ctrip. Uh, it's a market that we're monitoring, but it's not a market that we're focused on right now.